Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we want to show you how to create a saved search for a contact within your command database. As you can see, we're already logged into command here. We'll just go over to the top left second icon down. If you hover over it, it says contacts. This is your contacts tab. Give that a click. This is what we refer to as your command database or your contacts database or your contacts tab. It's all one and the same. These are your contacts here within your command. And to create a saved search, you want to go into one of those contact profiles. It is important to note that the contact does need to already have a personal login to your KW Consumer Mobile app and or your KW Agent website. The login works for both and they can create it after you've created your saved search for them. However, it works better if they've already created their login or you can create it for them. Once they have done that, then they will receive the emails from the saved search. So you can tell which contacts have already created a login to either your KW Mo Consumer Mobile app and your website by the green check mark in the green circle right here beside this particular contact's name. If you hover over it, it says Agent Site Connections. If you are unsure and want to view all of your contacts that have already created the login, you can use your filters and under advanced filters, there is an option to view Agent Site Connection who already has that and also you can do the reverse and see who does not have it and actually the ones that you need to get your app in the hands of. So just to let you know that is an option here under filters. Since we already know Joe Bob has created that agent site connection, he is currently using the agents app. We can click on his name to go into his contact profile here and on the far right you'll see saved searches. On the far right the tab saved searches we will give that a click. Now he does have a number two right here so you can see he already has two saved searches currently under his contact profile. You'll notice one was created by the agent for this contact and then the actual consumer himself created his own saved search from the app. Your consumers can do that as well. They can create saved searches when they are logged into your KW agent website and also if they are logged in to your KW consumer mobile app, either one they can create their own saved searches from there. Just notice as an agent, you will not be able to edit or delete any saved search that the consumer has created for themselves, but the one that the agent has created for the consumer, you can always come in here, click the pencil to edit or hit the trash can to delete it. So today I wanna to show you how to create a saved search from scratch. You can come right here to the top right hand corner and click create saved search. You'll get a pop-up window. And we're just going to fill out this form right here. You have several location options. One, the first one that it's listed as is city. You can type in the name of the city right here in Google. It will actually start populating based on Google suggestions where to find certain things. So right here, we're just going to start typing in, let's say, Wilmington, North Carolina, and you'll notice that it begins populating suggestions. We're going to select Wilmington, North Carolina right here, and you'll notice that it blacks it out, and this means this is the city selected. Now, saved searches are created to work best if they are for one city or one neighborhood, one zip code, or one custom area at a time. So selecting multiple does not work for this particular search. So that is for a city. Now please note if you clicked on find on map button, this is primarily for neighborhoods. So while it is still an option while you're looking by city name. We highly recommend only using this for the neighborhood. That's where it functions best. So where it does say city, I can come up here and change and say, I would like to look by neighborhood. If you choose neighborhood, you can still select neighborhood by name, but find on map actually works better for that. You can hold down the control button on your keypad and begin scrolling in anywhere that you would like to. 
and let's see if we can locate it. There is Wilmington. So we're just going to scroll in. You'll start seeing green areas populate. Those are the neighborhoods. So for neighborhoods, you can come in here and select one. And when you do, you'll see a purple check mark and you'll see the neighborhood listed at the bottom. Now, this particular choice does let you choose more than one at a time for neighborhoods. So I can have more than one neighborhood listed on a saved search. If you would prefer, you can do it that way. If you want to decide you'll have a saved search for each desired location, you can also uncheck those or X them down here at the bottom to remove those. So that is the neighborhood search by map. So we're going to close that and come back up here to show you for location. You can also search by zip code and enter the zip code and it will populate suggestions and you can choose that way. You can also, we already did city, you can choose by school attendance zone. Now again, find on map works best for neighborhoods, but you can choose to find a school attendance zone by typing it in if you would like. And that would be, let's see, let's just type in this example blue bonnet in Texas and it'll pull up all the schools that applies to that and you can select which one you would like and then again last one is custom now if you come down to custom you want to draw on the map and you can click on the map again zoom in using your mouse and as we come in let's say to a particular area in Wilmington Let's say you know there's a particular part of town that you want to live in that's easy peasy for a commute. Um, and so you want to stay away from certain busy roads or something like that. You can actually come in here, click on the little hand, and begin to draw for a particular area that you would be happy with a home anywhere in this particular area, but you don't want to have to cross the big highways for a daily commute. So you can draw off that custom area, hit apply, and that is now saved as your custom area and you'll be able to move forward with the other fields. So there's several location choices um, that you can choose from. For today, we're just gonna go with city, type in the name so that we can have this easily labeled and cover, oop, that's my bad. There we go. So we'll make this easy, clean cut, saved search to cover a full area and we don't wanna miss anything for this particular consumer. We're going to search by city and choose Wilmington, North Carolina. You can come down to minimum price and enter that. If they have a maximum, you can choose that as well. Please know that there is, those fields are not required. So you can enter or not enter. If they have any particular preferences, since this is the South, we're gonna say they definitely want a deck or a porch and you can come on down. Property types are already selected for you. If you want to uncheck any, let's say they're not looking for an investment property, so they don't want foreclosures or apartments or multifamily and they're not looking for land. So we can remove all of those and click again on that menu to close it and over listing status you can do active pending or coming soon even again please keep in mind that MLSs that populate their listings out there some of them have their own regulations as, as to whether they actually show closed properties or pending or coming soon so sometimes depending on that local MLS sometimes you'll be able to see all the coming soons sometimes not for beds you can choose any setting here. Same for baths, year built, living area, and then you can choose if it has parking. Maybe you have a consumer that only wants to get an alert for open houses that they can go and visit. That would be an option for this. And you can also see which ones have had price reductions within the last seven days. Please know that saved searches will automatically show updates on statuses if the consumer were to go visit their app or sign into your website when they click on their saved searches there will be a small bubble status that they can choose for status changes um, and that will also show them if there's been a price change this means it would limit the properties that are sent to them 
um, and shown to them in the email notification that they will only see the ones that have had a price reduction in the last seven days. This would be great for sellers that are looking to keep an eye on the competition in their local area um, and they can see when other listings actually reduce their prices. Here we're going to choose next. We can save the search title here. Please note that consumers will see the name of this search when they are signed into the app or the website and also on the email notifications they receive, they will see the name of this. So keep that in mind, make sure it's appropriate. So we know that this is for Wilmington, North Carolina. And so we're just going to keep that easy peasy. Their primary email that is on their contact profile will populate here, and this is where they will receive the email notifications. Please know that if they have not created that sign in to the app and or the website, your website, then they will receive a primary initial email to that email address saying, hey, your agent has a saved search for you now. However, they will know they will not receive any follow-up emails. Um, depending on how often you set this for them to receive emails, they will not receive any following emails after that. They will only receive that initial one. So if they want to receive email notifications, you can toggle this on. If they do not choose to receive email notifications, that's okay. They can sign into the KW Agent app, excuse me, the KW Agent website and or consumer mobile app at anytime and look at their saved searches from there. They do not have to receive email notifications if they do not want to, but if they would like to get notifications so that they know either right when it happens or just as a friendly reminder to help them remember to go and check their app and the website, you can always set them up for email notifications here. They can choose instant, daily summary, weekly summary, bi-weekly summary, or monthly summary. Now, it also shares with you the time zone that this will go out or, or the time that it will go out for the time zone. So um, the, like the daily summary will always send at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So just keep that in mind. So it will not, you know, send an email at an odd hour in the middle of the night unless they choose instant and then instant will send within 30 minutes of that market change like if a listing comes on the market they will receive a notification email within 30 minutes of that so this one could go out at any hour of the night just fyi so let's say this particular person actually just wants to get a weekly summary they're just keeping an eye on that area and so from here you can create saved search and over here on the right hand side again back to the contact profile within the contacts tab you can see that that saved search is now located right here and it gives you a brief breakdown of the items that you chose, the, the standards that you chose in that saved search. You can also edit and delete since you, the agent, actually created it. And now you'll see that there's three saved searches for this one contact. If I go over to the email, let's say we are the consumer and we are looking in our consumer's email, you will now see this is what it looks like when they receive their saved search. It has your name, the agent's name, shared a saved search, and here is the name of that saved search that you named it. Um, so again, make sure that that is appropriate. They will see that on their end as a consumer. And this is what it looks like. It includes the information and branding that is listed on your marketing profile within your command. And it does have a standard greeting, letting you know that the agent created a saved search. And it again includes the name of the saved search. And they have a quick button here that they can click on to go and view that saved search. If you scroll down again, more information pulled from the marketing profile and they do have an unsubscribe button at the very bottom. They also have a click here to manage your email preferences where they can go in themselves and actually change the frequency of, of getting these particular emails. Now I wanna show you what it looks like from a consumer side when they actually log in. So if they log into the KW Consumer Mobile app, it will look very similar because again, that login works the exact same way when you go to the agent's website. So we are here for, uh, or we're here at kw.com, just the generic KW site, and we're going to log in as the consumer. This is his personal login that he had already created. Please know that he does have a change password if you forgot your password the consumer can always change it there 
and it logs us in. And over here under saved searches, we can click view all. And again, you can do this from the actual agent's website as well. We just went to the kw.com generic site. So right here, you can see the saved searches that this particular agent had created for this consumer. He will also see the ones that he created for himself. You'll notice it'll denote by agent if it was created by an agent. And over on the right-hand side, they can either click view or edit. And if they choose to edit, this is where they can actually change the email notifications that they receive. Never is an option. Again, remember, they can go into their app at any time, as well as look on the KW website or the agent's website and log in to view their saved searches. They do not have to receive the email notifications. However, if they're looking to stay on top of the market, we highly recommend setting that for instant. If they're a hot buyer um, and want to keep track of all the new listings, definitely choose instant, but they can alter that right here. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions regarding saved searches or anything else to do with your KW platforms. We are here to serve you. And our email is support at scottleroymarketing.com. Thanks for watching.